I will say the woman who does the events and has a store at Beasley Farms has like a record keeping system similar to mine in that it's all in notebooks. So it's not necessarily like the most organized. So we'll see. I'll tell you what I brought in. I brought in five large bees for $10. They were in the style of peach bee, beige bee, black and yellow bee, pink and white bee, and a rainbow bee. And I have a video right here of me like making these bees so you guys can go watch that. And then I had two medium bees for $8. It was like a bright yellow and black and then like a more pastel yellow and black. Then I had six B keychains for $8 in various styles. And then like a potted sunflower for $20. So my total inventory that I brought to the store was $134. Since I was at Beasley Farms for the like second day of my weekend, I decided to check my stock that was there. Current we had left was the peach bee. The pink and white bee, both $10 items. The light yellow and black bee for $8 and two bee keychains were left. So that leaves my stock in the store as $44. So I do have to fix this one because this one was sitting in the store with one eye. And it doesn't even feel like this eye is in there. So I'm not sure how that happened. This is why I burn the backs. Um, so I'm just going to... Probably put felt eyes on her and glue them down. Otherwise, my other option is to just get another one of these and glue it down. But then I'm like short on one of these eyes for like another project. So I'll just probably use a set of felt eyes and trash this or make like a pink zombie. Um, something like that, you know? Okay. So that in theory should mean... We have a record for on her end of sales for $120, $120 sunflower, um, three $10 bees, the beige, the yellow, black, and rainbow. I don't know how she does her inventory. Um, one $8 medium bee, that would be the bright yellow one, and then four bee keychains, uh, making the total that sold $90. Um, and we have a split going of she gets 10, I get 90. So I should have made $81. Now I did email this to her and I'm waiting on a response to verify this is what she has left. Um, so I hope people are not stealing. But she also said uh, to me basically, what happened to the sunflower? And I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, well, I don't remember selling it. And then asked another person if they remember selling it. And he said no. but hopefully they remember selling it she did they were closed down for all of august so these were actually sales over just like the five weeks that were open so i brought them in like second weekend of july they were only open the remainder of july then they were closed all of august because they were remodeling um it looks good in there they like painted the walls they like epoxied the floors um, organized shelves and whatnot. So she did say they, when they cleared everything out, they like put their stuff in like a stock room. So like it could have fallen out of my thing and be in the stock room. So she's supposed to check. Um, but yeah, they've only been open again for like two weeks. So in about five weeks, I've sold about 70% of my stuff and made about $80. Um, which isn't too bad for me because, like, that's pretty passive. Like, I put it in there, they sell it, I just give her 10%, and, like, we're good. But, like I said, I'm still waiting on the email, so, like, it's kind of up in the air. But that's what should be recorded. Um, if it's not, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do because... I got a feeling that the other lady that was doing, she had some stuff in there, a crochet lady, bees and everything. Um, and she still comes in as a customer. I have a feeling that she's one of those like hobby crochet people. So doesn't necessarily care about like tracking her stuff and like knowing her profits and stuff. But I'm not like that. Like I want to know. And that's the reason why I have like a record of my stuff. 
Um, cause I'm like trying to collect money on what I make and what I sell, you know? Uh, so if a fair amount of theft has happened, I don't know if I'm going to do it again, but also this was the first time and they did go through that big, like remodeling thing. So who knows if it was really theft or if the stuff coming out of the store is the reason why it like got disorganized, you know? So I might give it like one more go to see, um, especially because October, this is normally a one month market, but uh, one a month market, but October they're doing like three of the four weekends. Um, so there'll be like even more traffic to the store and to like the events. I've gone to this event like as a customer in the past. It was a good time. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I might try it again, especially through October just to see. But also I'm like not out here to be like writing off product for loss. Um, it's different when I decide to give it away myself, you know? So we'll just have to see, like I said. Uh, but that's going to be all for this video. I just want to let you know that in theory, about $90 sold and about 80 of that is what I'm entitled to. And that's going to be all for this video. And if you'd like more crochet content, you can check out this video right here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.